Hey what's up Turbo Nation, so today I'm going to show you guys how to fix plastics on like a four wheeler or a dirt bike or anything that's pretty much plastic you can fix pretty easily with nothing but a soldering gun. Uh, one thing real quick, um, sorry about not uploading this Sunday, um, let's just say there's a pretty big surprise coming up next Sunday, so I'm sorry this video is coming out a little late, I think this is going out on Wednesday, and the last video, the one with the cylinder head, um, the one with the bolt that broke off into it and the one where it was like titled how to fix a leaking um, cylinder head. Well, this was going to be a clip inside of that video. Like this is going to be part of that video, except that video got way too long. So this ended up going to uh, this. So this ended up being its own video. My bad guys. And sorry, this is just going to be a mini video. I will have a video next Sunday. Sorry for missing our schedule, but it's going to be big next week. So. Let's get right into fixing these plastics. All right, guys. So while we're waiting for those um, exhaust studs to come in, I thought I'd show you guys um, how to repair plastics. You know, just a little bit tiny little section. So you just take a soldering gun, wait for it to heat up, and then you just take it along, and you just melt the plastics right back together. As you can see right here and here, I've already kind of done that. I got to go back over here again though. You just slowly go down, and you can clean this up a little bit better once you get it. But again, as you guys can probably tell, this is my little brother's Honda TRX 125 that I build him. So we're just going to go carefully down the seam, pushing it in. And just come back up here. See right here, those are I did at the beginning. This is a little bit that I did. I have to get in there real quick. So what you want to do though, is if you have to do something in this like kind of same area, is take out the grommet that was right here, this thing, before you do it. And again, you're gonna have to probably push that your those plastic together. So be careful. So let me know how you guys like the weekly upload schedule. Every Sunday uploads. There we go. That's right on the money. Be careful not to burn yourself, guys. This is like 750 degrees or hotter. And if you guys do have one of those um, soldering guns that have variable heat, I suggest putting it on the highest heat. I guess it depends on how thick the plastic is that you're soldering back together. But all right, I'm gonna let this cool a little bit so I can move my hand away. Alright guys, so just push that back together. Come back in for a second pass. Get lower. Right, come back in for a second pass now. Be really careful. Don't burn your hand. And just go nice and slow. Get all that smoke. So I'm gonna let that like solidify a little bit. Keep my hand here and work on another spot that has art like just cleaning up a couple spots that are a little messy. You know, just while I wait for that to. I just kind of want to go slowly over, kind of just do this, but don't push in like this because then you'll melt a hole in it. So, all right, so that's holding. So I'm gonna carefully come up here and just go slowly down, using the side of the tip more than the actual 
soldering tip itself. Just don't let your chimney get in there. And you should be fine. And yeah, guys, this was cracking really bad. It cracked from all the way up here, all the way down to right there. And it spider it was spider webbing out, so it wasn't good. And new plastics are really expensive, so just do this. And just be really careful. All right, so I guess just I'll let that dry. Hold my hand here, and I'll see you guys in a second can see the plastics are all soldered back together and it's pretty easy so all right so I guess I'll see you guys whenever we get the new um, exhaust set in all right guys so anyway if you guys enjoyed the video I really hope this helped um, please drop a like and subscribe but um I will give you guys some hints to what the bike are I'll post a couple pictures on screen here and here Alright, so now that you got to look at those pictures, um, drop a comment and tell me what you think the bike is. And anyway, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to join Turmo Nation today. And as always, have a terrific day, guys.